picture the scene. A sleepy little village in Surrey. Nice old semi-detached house. Man in bed with the wife. Wife's husband comes home. <laughs> unusual so far. Well, straight away, the wife jumps out of bed, wipes the steam off the windows. <laughs> looks outside, and down below, there's her husband getting out of the car, carrying a dead cow in his shoulders. Oh, my God, she said, he's come back early from the slaughterhouse and brought some work home with him. <laughs> so there are a couple, there are this couple in the bedroom, and the man, not wanting to risk sliding down the drain pipe with no clothes on, <laughs> leaps. <laughs> the pain of that has caused silence. <laughs> leaps across the room and hides in the wardrobe. And as he's in there crouching in the shadows, suddenly he hears this voice saying, Cool, isn't it dark in here? <laughs> and he looks down and there beside him is this little boy, you see. Good gracious, he said, how long have you been in here? The little boy said, I've seen everything and I'm going to tell my daddy. <laughs> oh, no, don't do that, said Chapsy. Don't do that. Look, if you promise to keep quiet, he said, I'll give you a nice, crisp ten-pound note. Certainly not, said the little boy. I've been brought up as a good Catholic boy and that would be bribery. Besides, ten quid's not enough. <laughs> so the chap says, all right, five quid. He says, done. <laughs> Sad indictment on our educational standards today. <laughs> so he takes the money, and he's sitting there at breakfast, the little boy, the next day, brandishing this fiver. And his father says, where did you get that? He said, a nice gentleman gave it to me, Daddy. The father said, don't tell me a lie, you stole it, didn't you? You disgraced your religion. And you know what happens to people who mock their religion? Their fingers all drop off one by one. <laughs> off you go to church, he says, and confess. So off the little boy goes to the local church, steps into the confessional box and pulls the curtain behind him, looks round and he says, Coo, isn't it dark in here? <laughs> and a voice from the other side says, Not you again. 